Jesus! Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, my money! Oh, my money! Twenty thousand dollars, man! So, some of you don't know what synthetic indices mean. Alright, welcome to this very interesting video. So, in this video, I'm going to be explaining what synthesis synthetic indices are and how they operate how they have been traded um which company offers them and how they operate in general right how they how they behave rather all right so let's see so as the name implies it's synthetic okay this is a trading instrument that is being run by a set of codes. Okay, it's, it's a programmed um, trading instrument whereby it behaves, it's an index that behaves like a real time market, a real time index or currency market, but it's not real, meaning it's being controlled at the back end by the brokers the owners of the synthetic indices and synthetic indices are owned by derive okay www.derive.com these are the owners of synthetic indices and they are the only ones providing synthetic indices synthetic indices have been banned in america and europe you cannot assess synthetic indices on derive.com derive is a broker that offers forex you know um, stock indices and other kind of trading instrument gold and the rest but their synthetic indices do not work in certain countries but majorly works in africa so derive broker has been around for for long now for like 22 years the real broker started in 2000, in the year 2000, and the current CEO names is, name is Jane. Is it Yves or Visa? I, I can't really um, um, pronounce it, but I think Yves, I don't know. So that's the current CEO. What is the purpose of this video? So this video, I'm going to explain why synthetic indices is a very crazy thing to involve yourself with in africa especially in nigeria where i come from there are so many traders that involved themselves with synthetic indices telling themselves that this is the quickest way to make money this is better than forex this makes such so, so amount of money you can flip ten dollars to five hundred thousand dollars you can flip you can do this all of those things are just big lies a particular pattern that always always repeats itself it always always repeats itself now i'm going to spill this secret because i didn't get to give you guys the signal so this is me saying i'm sorry i want you guys okay. <laughs> synthetic indices will never ever be better than the real forex markets boom and crash volatility step index all of that will never ever be better than the real forex market here's why now this is the this is actually the logic uh behind this whole um there is there is synthetic indices now now think about it a company that created an algorithm or a, um, a, a, that created certain trading instrument and control all the movement up down movement of it and leave off the losses of traders what do you think they are going to always do let's assume we have 100 people trying to buy boom 500 and then 70 percent of people are buying boom 500 and 30 percent are selling and you know if they allow if they actually push it up in favor of the 70 percent they will actually make more money off them so what do they do they make the 70 percent of people lose and the 30 percent of people make money so what they are doing they're trying to do majority carries it so that they can get money at the end of the day so they don't lose either sides they make lots of money that's why this is a very old broker and one of the you know richest brokers because they make lots of money off their clients another thing is this derive derive is so smart that they know 
one of the most important things in trading is risk management so they they scatter the risk management pattern of all the pairs of all the synthetic pairs meaning they made some volatility indices have different lot size meaning their defaults the smallest lot size for volatility 100 is different from volatility 10 one s is different from this is different from boom and crash different why just so that you might see a setup on volatility 10 s and forget that the lowest loss size here is zero points maybe zero one sorry 0.001 they have lot sizes like 0.001 they have some some pairs that the lot sizes are 0.005 they have some some of the synthetic indices that are 0.2 scattered means so that people can actually make mistakes and lose big money bigger money or people might get it completely wrong and never ever learn to calculate their risk management Everybody knows in Forex, we know what 10 pips mean. We know what we want to risk. Let's say the last video I did, go check the video out. I talked about how to risk correctly and, you know, come out of a risk management problem. That's exactly the last video I did. So we all know about that in Forex, what and what you need to calculate, the formulas you need to use. In Derive Synthetic, you, you can't even know how many pips you're risking because the pips are always large like 800 pips 1000 pips just to get you confused and then the lot size is completely different in each and every pair so they are ready to fuck up your uh psychology and your risk management pattern just so that you can consistently lose to them they are one of these most uh, the most you know trickish brokers ever exist in africa so one one of the things that you have to do about synthetic indices if you are already trading synthetic indices is to evaluate your trading how long you've been trading what is the result if it's positive continue trading but if it's negative review every single thing you did because in 2020 i lost lots of money to synthetic indices i regretted and when i found out all i found out about them i decided to quit so the question is this should you trade with deriv deriv is a very nice broker when it comes to withdrawals their withdrawals is really fast with crypto their deposits everything fast and the use of payment agents is really fast i'm not doing i'm not trying to advertise for deriv or i don't have any affiliation with them but what i'm just saying is based on experience you can trade with them with them by trading with their forex um their forex the normal forex uh, market gold you know stock indices like and um, us stock indices like nasdaq srp us 30 but then if you know you haven't traded the synthetic just stay away from it and if you're trading synthetic and you're losing lots of money stop forex is has has more opportunities you can scale in level up with prop firms but they are not like prop there are no prop firms that offer synthetic indices so this is an eye opener for those of you that are wondering why you're trading is very you know funny with synthetic indices if you watch this video up to the end then you did a very good job in learning how synthetic indices work and you can go forward to watch my video on risk management you see on the screen watch this video and you're going to learn the right way to risk if you trade forex or stock indices don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel peace out